For London's Somali community, sending money back to Somalia is part of everyday life. Remittances account for over half of the country's income and are the only way many families can afford food, medicines and schooling. Following decades of war, Somalia has no banking system, so people use money transfer companies such as Dahab Shil. But this vital lifeline may soon be cut off. Barclays was the last British bank to offer accounts to Somali remittance companies. Now Dahab Shil is set to have its account closed by the end of September. I send the money for my mum and uh, the rest of my family as well, brothers, sisters, and uh, that will affect us. I don't have any other system to send the money to my family. That means the people, they died. Any option that I can send it to them, well, I have to do it. Because, well, this is what they spend and this is how they live. So international cash transfers could be pushed underground. Consumers will have no choice in many cases but to use illegal money transfer operators and that will be very negative because uh, the security of the, of the money will be much less certain uh, and uh, it will be much more open to abuse. And it is precisely to comply with anti-money laundering and anti-terrorism financing regulations that Barclays is shutting remittance companies' accounts. But Dahab Shil says it is prepared to comply with any new eligibility criteria. Yeah, we would like to, to, to contribute from our part and we are willing to be part of any uh, uh, reviewed code of conduct. Many say governments need to be the driving force for a solution. Somali migrants in the UK are estimated to send about £100 million a year back to Somalia, and many, like those gathered here at this Save the Remittance Giving campaign event, are urging the UK government to stop Barclays from closing Dahab Shil's account. They're placing pressure not just on Barclays, but on the UK government as well to sort of say, well, look, can you step in, please, and try and find an alternative bank? If there is no alternative, then there will be humanitarian disaster. Aid agencies warn that Somalia's long-term development is at serious risk of being damaged if the Somali diaspora is not able to provide its country with support. Natalie Fury, CCTV, London.